Good afternoon, Word of Grace family. Today is Monday, May the 4th, 2020. Welcome to today's edition of Five Minutes of Encouragement. Now, as usual, the scriptures that I reference will be in the description box of this video. I ask that you both like and share this hashtag, Five Minutes of Encouragement. Well, today, family, we're going to talk about two very important Christian concepts, faith and salvation. And we're going to look at what the Apostle Paul through the leading of the Holy Spirit, wrote to the believers in Rome. And we're starting in Roman chapter, Romans chapter 10, verse 6. Just follow along with me here. It'll also be on the screen. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who will descend into the abyss? That is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Skipping to verse 13, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, family, faith and salvation. We learn in this passage of scripture that faith does something. Faith speaks. What does it speak? It speaks what is supposed to be in your heart, which is why we have to guard all of our gates as to what we allow into our hearts. When faith speaks, something happens, right? You confess out of your mouth. That confession is made unto salvation. Now, we have had a very limited and poor view of salvation. See, salvation is more than just being saved from hell. There are several concepts which go with that Greek word, Soteria. Soteria means salvation or is interpreted salvation. There are several concepts with, get, that go with that one word, and these, the concepts are this. Deliverance, health, help, welfare, safety, victory, defense, rescue, and preservation. See, with the heart, you believe unto righteousness. So it is what you believe in your heart, what you have faith for in your heart that puts you in a right standing with God. But then, what comes out of your mouth? So you confess unto your own deliverance. You confess unto your own salvation. And I believe that the worst thing that a blood-bought son or daughter of God can do in this world is keep his or her mouth shut, particularly when they need something or the Lord has given them something. Why? If you need something, your confession is made unto salvation. If he's given you something, your confession is made unto some, someone else's salvation. How? You know what? You know that your experience can build someone else's faith? That's right. Your experience. When, when someone sees what you have gone through and the way the Lord has brought you through it, it can give them faith to believe for the exact same thing. That's why I never keep my mouth shut about 2009 when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I did not listen to the devil. Instead, I, I jumped into the healing scriptures, and I kept confessing and kept confessing. And I haven't been back to the hospital since 2009 for that. And I, I am not going back because that is in my rearview mirror. I'm saying to you, family, what you confess out of your mouth, believe in your heart, is not only for you, is for those who are around you. Yeah, that's right. If it weren't for that, the Lord would have raptured you out of here a lot quicker than now, right? But he needs you to be here to be a witness for him. Family, this has been your five minutes of encouragement. As usual, I love you. But more importantly, Jesus loves you. Go start speaking. Leave a comment. Talk about what the Lord has done for you. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Love you, love you much. I'll see you tomorrow.